and I'm Shay, and, and we'd we like, like to welcome, welcome you to, to the couch. couch. The couch is a place where you can come and sit. Uh, if you have a local business or anything that you do in particular, come on the couch and share with all our viewers. Uh, today we have a special guest. First of all, we have an audience. <laughs> Into the mix of noise, <laughs> <laughs> but um, we got a special guest, and I'm gonna let Shay introduce our guest. Well, this is Sandra D coming to y'all, and she, I'm gonna let her explain what she does, why, when she started, why she started, and yes, this is Sandra. Hi, um, my name is Sandra Steele. Um, actually, I am Sandra Renee Brooks Steele. Because um, I'm a local person from Champaign, Urbana, and um, some of you may not have known my full name, and I go by my full name. So some of you will call me Sandra, some of you call me Renee, and that's fine with me because I love that name. Um, I'm the owner of Design by Chance Paint on Canvas Home and Traveling Studio. I'm located in Urbana, Illinois, and um, I enjoy being an artist um, that I actually just found out that I was an artist. Uh, the question, how long have you been painting? Give us a little bit about that. I've actually just been painting. I found out that I had a, a, a talent, uh, I want to say, when I turned 55. What? Yeah. So, <laughs> what, what made you want to start painting? A friend of mine, Tasha and Shay. <laughs> <laughs> Introduced me to painting on canvas. Uh, I believe it was one of the girls, Miss Pink's birthday, and she uh, invited me to a paint party. And then that's when I realized that I said, Oh, I can do this. I really love it. Mm -hmm. And I started to paint then. Um, I started painting um, when my children were younger, and they basically. Um, was driving me crazy. I turned around and decided. And they calmed you down. They calmed me down. Every time I come paint with you, it, it's a it's really a chill mode. It really we, is. We chill out and so it's calming. When you when you host your parties or a paint event, you know the mood is the music is nice and soft, and you got the wine and it's it's relaxing for people, right? Yes, it is. Um, I have uh, a waterfall in the home. Um, I have. Um, a fireplace um, that I light as well uh, to give that mooding uh, feeling. I also have um, skylights. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a very pleasant, um, relaxing experience. Okay. Uh, the mood is a really good mood. Yeah, it is. I know. I've been there. I know, right? <laughs> and, I have, and I have been um, to one of your paint a few of them. Actually. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, so. The misconception about the paint parties is for guys they think it's just for women, but it's not because you have different pictures that you provide for uh, women and men or a diverse uh, option, correct? Correct. I actually uh, recently had a young man that uh, had an anniversary and he wanted to surprise his wife and she um, he told me to pick out a picture uh, pertaining to uh, them as a couple, and I picked out a young version of a uh, it, uh, them standing by um, the uh, sink, and then I they and then there was a, young, a newer version of them standing by the sink. So when he came, he was able to see that he painted the old version and she painted the young version, and in the end, they faced each other and saw the picture, and they hadn't seen it before. You know, until they got completed the, the painting. So, yes, men do paint, and he was excited about it. And I'm looking in the wrong direction. And he was very um, excited about it. And he was very excited about painting. So, yes, men do, and they um, book me as well as women. Now, that's the guy that came with his wife, right? Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. And not only I, I only just not do those, but I also do uh, children paint parties. I do um, when people get married, um, they may have a um, uh, shower and they will paint at my my um, home studio, or they can go to their location and I'll. 
Oh, it'll come down. Mm -hmm. Come to them. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So I know when I think of a uh, painting, I think of a uh, Miyagi wax up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so if you go to one of my TikTok videos, which I will show, that I'm actually painting doing that. So, um, it, to me, being at uh, one of this was relaxing. The first one I went to, um, the first one that I actually went to was uh, 16 when it was when I first well, stopped dating. Oh, that's when we had the kids come yeah. over. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when, yeah. I think that you were there too. I probably yeah. were because we all like to hang yeah. out together. <laughs> and so, I'm yeah. thinking like, yeah, it's just for women. I'm going to go in the man cave. Well, y'all did go in the man yeah. cave when all of uh, us just painted. But once, what, we went to Sandra birthday. for yeah, your for birthday. birthday. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. And, yes. Yes. and I painted a and Superman picture that, that I don't know where I said. I think she <laughs> threw it away. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> my picture was the bomb, right? I but, did not um, but it was cool. It was it was something different. I, I want to do something. Thank you. I want to do something different mm -hmm. um, than a traditional. Mm -hmm. um, just going out eating and then going yeah. to the bar. Yeah, it was um, cool. So it was real cool, and I think everybody enjoyed it. Um, and it's fun to me, even though it's seventies thing, you know. Yeah, oh, you were good in the seventies thing. You know. <laughs> I, I think you were doing more than Mr. Moagi. Wax on, wax on. Mm -hmm. So you was taking it around to the corner, and going around that side. I I noticed your hand movement. It was definitely you see her, her, like, her pain movement, like wax on, wax off. It wasn't up and down, down. right? Wax on. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, you was doing this thing. Yeah, you and got, you got the right on. stroke, huh? Yeah. You got that stroke. I got that stroke. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So, mm -hmm. as far as canvases, like um, first, the pictures are all you sketch the pictures out. Right, Correct. The yes, yes, no. um, do you allow uh, people to give you suggestions? Oh, most you? definitely. Um, what they do is they call me and then they ask me um, what they want to do, or I may ask, suggest you know what they might want to do, and uh, we work collaborate together based on if um, the scenery, what the, what is the scenery that they want? Because some people just don't want to do you know pictures of. Superman. They may want flowers. They may want um, uh, a vase, you know, uh, with uh, no flowers. But it depends on what they want. We uh, collaborate uh, together, and I will send them ten sketches. Possibly, you know, usually about ten sketches of what they may want to do, and then they'll say, "Oh, I want this picture," and then we'll go from there. So, but your canvases vary too, size wise. Oh yeah, they come from um, five by sevens, mm -hmm. uh, flat board to the kind that you hang up on the wall to um, eighteen by thirty six, yeah, or twenty six by thirty six. So what, what? That's your huge, just one. Yeah. 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 So for uh, how much, you know, and it's kind of jumping them, but how much typically? Um, do you charge for uh, a party? If I call and say, hey, I want to do a party for, you know, 10 people, um, do you base it by the size of the party or is there a size of the size of the canvas? I base it by the size of the canvas. Okay. Um, so uh, my canvases can start at uh, $20 to uh, $35. I don't go over 35, and if I did, then of course you're going to be looking at a, a pretty uh, expensive price. So um, you have like uh, four different so, sizes. Uh, so um, the $35, if, one, if it goes over $35, then the canvas is even bigger. Yes, correct. Okay. The canvas okay. are even bigger. So the price range is from the smallest to the largest. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 
started at, at $20, uh, $20, you got $20, $20 $25, $30. Mm -hmm. It goes up $5 until you get to the bigger, bigger, bigger sizes. And you're talking about 36 by 26. If you do um, travel, correct, I'm traveling. It's just not at, at your home. You, I mean, I know with COVID, it's kind of mm -hmm. different now, but um, I mean, you paint, you can be masked up. I mean, well, I, I've i decided um, to close my doors. I had students mm -hmm. that would come in and paint once a week, but I decided, you know, because of COVID, that it would be the best thing is just not to bring them in at all. Now, I have done traveling um, to maybe one or two since COVID, and I felt comfortable with that because we were masked. Mm -hmm. And um, it was people that I had known that don't go anywhere. It doesn't mean that you can't get COVID, because you can get COVID any time. But just to stay um, comfortable with not having too many people, being around too many people yeah. is the most important thing. So I have actually have not done much painting which has given me the opportunity to paint on my own and read, uh, think how I want to run the business. So uh, downtime is good time. You know, um, I, I didn't lose any money based on my home, my studio, home studio is in my home. So I didn't lose any money. Uh, most com uh, businesses have lost money, they've lost their business because they couldn't keep up, you know, the house note and the business. And, and so with me, I just shut it down because I didn't owe anybody anything. So um, my question is, with uh, with COVID being out, how many people are you willing to have come in or as long as they're masked or whatever? I've revamped uh, the business mm -hmm. uh, at my home, so I would do no more than um, six. Five or six people. Five or six people. Okay. So I'd even shut it down even smaller okay. if I was to get someone in. Okay. Uh, now that they're lifting up, you know, yeah, and letting people course. come yeah. to business Absolutely. now. So, yeah. And I think what I enjoy um, about, you know, you come to one of the events so that you actually walk around and, you know, look at everybody's stuff as well as doing your own Assist stuff. Assist right? them. Oh, man, yeah. that's, that's, that's nice. You need, you need some more colors? or So you make people feel welcome in that environment. Um, even if a person came in nervous um, or they feel like they can't okay, paint, yeah. you still assist them yeah. and help them, try to guide them and stuff. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Most definitely. Um, it's so funny because sometimes you think that they can't, they think that they can't paint. Mm -hmm. And once they sit down and they relax and they get into the music or they hear the waterfall or they're looking at the fire, mm -hmm. uh, the sereneness of the area causes them to relax and that's the part of the painting that you pull from because now you're not thinking about I'm at work somebody's getting on my nerve I'm trying to you know just um, chill you chill I am not worrying about my bills I'm just basically chilling and that's what I'm getting from a lot of the um, clients that they're actually are the best thing that they've ever done was to just come in and relax and paint mm -hmm. they think about nothing other than but the the time that they're spending in front of the canvas I know I I know you got me feeling like I'm an artist every time I come, so I'm just saying, I'm just saying, so yeah, well, I enjoy it. Listen, cats be in there with they uh, Peppa the Pew berets on, you know, that right they yeah, the top song, you know, yes. I ain't gonna say no names. I, oh. <laughs> I think I'm Picasso. Yeah. I know who you're talking about. Tosh, wait, you talking Tosh? I, I seen a picture one day um, <laughs> of Shay um, painting a boy. Was, was, was it sick. here? No. Well, we had it here. No, it was. No. It was. It was. I had, my, I had my hat on. Yeah. <laughs> but she was focused, like. Yeah. <laughs> you become one with the canvas. You do. I will say, you do become one with the canvas, and like I said, you don't think about anything else but what you're doing, and that's the nice, the, the best part of painting on canvas. Um, I actually do a lot of different type of paintings as well. Um, when my student, my um, clients or students come in, um, one of the things is to um, I, I would call it grief painting. 
Mm -hmm. um, but I, I really don't like that name grief because you are going through some grieving time when you lose someone special in your life. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they paint um, angel wings. That's one of the things. Or they may paint a picture of their a loved one mm -hmm. that means a lot to them because I will sketch that out and then you can paint it. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the support I've gotten from that, you know, and me supporting them mm -hmm. has brought out uh, the best of them because it's something that you don't want to forget them and it gives you a, a, um, a time to relax with mm -hmm. the one has passed away that, that you love and they enjoy it and they're not crying mm -hmm. and usually they're crying all the time but they say when I come in here I'm not crying I'm just enjoying the moment of, of painting uh, one of the ladies um, that had a party uh, she had a her daughter had a dog. She died, she, her daughter died at 17. And she had a dog that she liked. And so we decided to do dogs. And so we painted different dogs and people were having fun. And she goes, this is the first time I stopped crying. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a two hour paint session. And she goes, I, I'm not even crying anymore. Now I'm sure when she went home, you know, yeah. it, it hit her. But while she was painting, she enjoyed herself tremendously. The memories. That's cool because you know, people usually like get tattoos or something to yes. remember people by. But it's, it would be nice to just go and paint something that I put my feelings into exactly. and not go home and hang it up. Exactly. And when, when I see it, I don't have to look at my arm because I tattooed myself. I can just see it right there. It's, that's, that's wonderful to me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to do that for my mother. Well, I plan on it. Okay. I want to do plan. that. It's going to be good. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you talk about wings, painting wings, uh -huh. so is this... Yes, that's one of them. Okay. Actually, that is um, definitely one of them, yes. Okay. okay. Uh, so we're going to look at a few of uh, uh, the, the paintings that you have. So let me say this, you got skills, right? Um, and one thing that that's in there is that um, the couples yes. pictures. People don't realize that can be a, a very nice date night. Yes, especially like a first date. Yeah. That would be very lovely. Very you know, I'm because oh, oh, no mercy. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. You know how men think like. Or women think I'm just trying to get it. And is that another? You let him go and just have a peaceful evening with the the waterfall mm -hmm. and all that stuff. That is romance. Yes. That's romantic. And then that's go romantic. out to dinner. Yes, and that's romantic. Talk because. Or you can even go out to dinner and then go and paint. That's beautiful. Yeah, I think that's that's break the ice. You know, the painting, yeah, yeah. you're right, you are absolutely right. You know, then when you're sitting at dinner, you have something authentic to talk about. Mm -hmm. Like, so when you was painting, what would you think? You know, yeah. um, mm -hmm. that's how I always did it. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, you know, you're absolutely right about that because one of my clients, uh, that was his, his whole theory, was to bring her, she had no idea she was coming. Mm -hmm. She just knew that they were going to be on a date night and that was his planned date. And so he brought wine and, and he, he served her and they enjoyed themselves. And neither one of them knew what they were going to be painting until the end when they faced it. And I wish I would have brought you some of the pictures because they really are nice pictures. So do you serve wine? I, I don't serve it, but they do. Uh, I, I, I can't have, I don't have a liquor license, yeah. so therefore so I can't. Bring so they out. can bring their own wine okay. and, and drink their wine while they're, and, and bring an hors d'oeuvre. Mm -hmm. You know, I set it all up, I make it really nice. If you wanted like a, a chocolate fountain, I could put a chocolate fountain because I do have that. Mm -hmm. um, I have, um, uh, a wine fountain, so if you want to, you know, you have like maybe five people. Well, you, you got a wine fountain. fountain. Yeah. You ain't tell me that. I know, right? <laughs> but let me tell you, they really do like it. Usually, like some of the parties, like the girls' night out parties, mm -hmm. they usually like to have the wine, mm -hmm. the wine um, fountain, and then you know, it's just something unique that they can bring to the ad the, to the atmosphere okay. of it all. That's cool. Yeah. So wait, the wine fountain. That's why I feel out. You know it is. That's why I'm like, you tell me about my wine fountain. I know about. So, yeah, but you bring your own wine. You just and, pour it into the fountain. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. the last time you came to paint, you had a wine fountain? I hadn't had the wine fountain. Okay, okay. Because, ooh, Sandra D. I was going to say, really? Yeah, that, that's, that's a That's how you're doing me? No, you never <laughs> do like that shape. Because I know how much you love wine, and that's probably why I came up with the idea of the uh, wine fountain. Okay. Yeah. So y'all, yeah, make she sure. likes her wine. <laughs> Speaking of that, it's time to do our drink shout outs. Um, each uh, each show, we let the people know what we're drinking on. So, um, of course, y'all know me. I'm drinking my Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey. Lemonade is pretty good. I drink this every show, almost. And I mean, it really don't change too, too, too much. I think I did something different than last Jack. show. Did the Dick Jack. Mm -hmm. The Dick Jack and, and Coke. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what y'all drank it on? You know, we drank it on. We drank it on. That young tail Chardonnay. Chardonnay. You love it? That's good. I love my I have a bottle for you to take. Yeah. Oh, my. Okay. I'm going to paint and drink tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with you because I'm going to paint too. Mm. Yeah. Now, one show, and I'm standing here, you're hitting it on the couch, I'm drinking monkey show or whatever. Oh, Lord Jesus. Come, come on. Mm. So, how my pillows in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> that monkey show to kill her, y'all. Y'all don't even that, know. That's Sharika called it monkey paw. Monkey paw? <laughs> I know we did not suck, you drink that shit, and you got three monkeys sitting on top of your shoulder. That's why it's called monkey paws. Because they sitting on top of your shoulder after two or three drinks. With their paws. With their paws. <laughs> well, then that case, I'm going to have to throw out my pillow over there, because I, if I drink some monkey paws, I will not be leaving. <laughs> oh, Lord. Everybody call it monkey paw. But this monkey show, there's three monkeys on the bottom. That mm -hmm. should be a one for you. Anything they got? The damn animals on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't, it ain't right for you. Okay. <laughs> it's right for you. You just make sure you drinking it at home. After you done drinking it, go to bed. Okay. Don't drive no no. I'm just saying. Ain't no <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um back on subject. <laughs> if uh, somebody wants to get in contact with you to um but uh, a party. Like a party or first date, um, how can they get in contact? Well, you can contact me at Design by Chance Paint on Canvas Home and Traveling Studio. Phone number is 217-766-7026. All right, so every, every guest that comes on with a business, um, we like to support. So what we're going to do, and I'll let Shay tell what we're going to do for a lucky winner of the contest that's going to be up. So what we're going to do is, first of all, since COVID is out, 
we are going to support my friend, our friend, Sandra D. We're going to um, go ahead and put up a few questions. You guys answer it, whoever get them right, whatever the case may be. And we're going to have a party. We're going to do at least five people, at least five, and me and Mr. West will pay for it. It's on us. So, I'm just saying, go out, oh, wow. make sure you guys look up Sandra, make sure you guys look at the questions and answer them correctly, and the party will be on us. And you have to have subscribed, Thank you. like, and turn that notification on because that's how and you make know sure who you is. share and share. Yes, share it. I mean, you get a party and it, for and it. not not only is the party free for you, subscribing subscribing is free also. It don't cost you nothing. Nothing. It don't cost you nothing. <laughs> I'm going to bring the camera up because I'm going to say, I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, I did forget um, mm -hmm. that you also can locate me on, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I have a business page under Sandra Renee Brooks Steele. And so if you go to that, go to Sandra Renee Brooks Steele, uh, you can find me on my business page. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so that was the, what's your name? Um, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, that. That's what I was going to ask him. So, are we ready to... Is she? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, we have something special before we go into um, our next segment of the show. Um, so, we have a special guest. Our second guest that was on the show. Uh, Miss Sharika from This and That Barbecue. Uh, come on around here and join us. She's been working um, hard. Uh, uh, and then she came out. We appreciate her coming out. Yes, thank you. We appreciate you coming. So, I'm going to sit back on this one and I'm going to let you take this part of the show. No, I like I do actually, I'm going to let Sandra D take it. Okay, so Sharika, you know, I am so proud of you. I think that you are such an amazing, inspiring business owner. Oh, thank you. And you said something on Facebook that really hit my heart, you know, and what it was was that you commented on a portrait of mine and you liked it so much. And you said, well, you know, I'm going to get you some. I'm not, I want you to have something. I want to have something in my store, in my restaurant from, uh, from me. Yeah. So Aww. I have painted something for you no. as a gift, okay, to put in your store. And so um, the unveiling time is here for you. Hopefully you'll like it. Maybe you might not. Don't you start crying on me. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> right, too. But I, I, I want you to have this, and I hope you enjoy it. It was a picture that, that I got off of your page, and I thought mm -hmm. it was so beautiful, so beautiful. And um, I painted it for you. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful, Oh, baby, you're welcome. You do so much for your friends, and you have a kind heart. Oh, my Y'all got me with the ugly cry again. <laughs> okay, uh, better you than me, honey. <laughs> Do you like it? It is gorgeous, <laughs> man. It's amazing. I know. <laughs> oh my God, y'all! Thank you. I was working on it, and your brother-in-law. I kind of like talk to him because then Shay and Tasha oh, what I was going to do. I wouldn't show yeah. Shay the picture, but I showed I'm, your brother-in-law. I'm just seeing it too. Oh. Yeah, and I showed your uh, and I showed <laughs> Tasha because I was a little nervous about it, you know. You did so Isn't amazing. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so much. Oh, sweetheart. You are so warm and welcome. Oh, you deserve it. You deserve it. Oh my god. So that means it goes in your store. Yes, in your it restaurant. does. 
job. Okay, so I got out the bed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you came. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Okay. okay. This is the reaction I, I want to say. Right? Oh, <laughs> you know I'm a punk. <laughs> oh, thank you, sister. I appreciate y'all so much. I'm so glad you came, Sharika. Look. And when I saw it, I said, well, it looks like her. So it, it'll be okay. No, she, it she'll like it. Like it do. We got yeah. our little wig. What? <laughs> And you, you did, picture, oh, right? Yes, you did an amazing yes, job, Sandra. You. Yes, Sandra. Oh, you. Amazing. You know I'm finna have her paint me too, right? Man. I seen the photo and I was like, oh, Sandra D, why God. are you playing? And this is a this is a, a talent that I didn't know I had. I didn't pick it up until my late fifties. So yeah. After this we're gonna play a song, man. We kinda talked about uh uh an era. Uh so I think Sandra picked the seventies. So I'm gonna try to stick to the '70s and um, play the song, and I'm gonna stop the music, and she has to sing the next lyric. All right. She can't so, sing. so you ready? ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. <laughs> well, here's the first song. Give them the strength, a pride, 
to make it easier. Yeah. Yeah. Let her children laugh. <laughs> Remind us what it used to be. Bang on TV. <laughs> Who dropping the mic? Who dropping the mic? Who dropping the mic? That was a deep one there. That really was deep. <laughs> <laughs> you just played a real song. That's what I'm saying. Sing it. 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 She left the phone three twenty times before she answered. Let me tell you what happened. What happened, bro? Minutes later, I called the operator. And that was the <laughs> Let's finish uh, yes. finish the line. We would like to thank Sandra for coming out. Yes, um, please, guys, you know, utilize her business. It's, it's a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, um, date night, uh, girls' night. Even fellas nights, you know. Uh, oh, I've got something great for guys. Got some get great she for guys. Some great oh, yeah. uh, look her up on Facebook, hit her up, mm -hmm. call her, text her. Mm -hmm. um, the information will be at the bottom. So make sure that you guys book with Sandra. And still. don't forget that contest. Answer those questions. Make sure you subscribe. Like, turn the notification on, and share. so you can win. We giving away stuff, and we want you, we want to give it away. So, cause we'll take it ourselves. I mean, cause we enjoy all of it. everything we are offering to you guys. We enjoy. So, make sure you go ahead and get yourself together and and do something, cause it is fun. It's fun. Yeah. You'll have an amazing time. Yes. I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. All right. We want to thank our audience. Audience, thank you. Bag up singers, all that good stuff. They, they, they was in tune. But we will catch you next time. I think the next guest is uh, Jacqueline Monroe. Uh, she is a fitness trainer, personal trainer. Uh, it's about the time for some of us to uh, lose this, uh, this, this COVID. Check her out. Um, tune in, and we will see you next time. Bye. Deuces. Bye.